Yeah. All right, my dear. So today I am going to share with you one of the most important topic uh, that is uh, under types of uh, demand. Types of demand. And this is in inventory. Well, I was discussing about what is inventory and how types of demand, types of uh, cost. So here today in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about uh, under types of de demand, we are having few types just like uncertain demand, deterministic model, probabilistic model. Here, I'm going to discuss about deterministic model. So basically what is happening, there are subparts of this model and first part is Wilson Harris Wilson Harris uh, method and in this method what happen consumption rate that is denoted by R is constant so what uh, I'm going to share with you in this uh, total little bit lengthy total because here I have to share with you a couple of formulas as well as graph so basically let me share with you one of the simple graph in this graph I'm going to share with you five uh, three main important components one is Q that is known as water quantity okay just write here order quantity R that is consumption rate consumption rate and T is cycle time right so here we are having three main important components and uh, I hope you wanted to know the relation among these three that is R is equal to Q upon T so this relation I'm going to share I mean I'm going to use in the next couple formulas okay here another two things those are also most important just one is carrying cost carrying cost another one is ordering cost or uh, you know yeah ordering cost ordering cost so basically in simple formulas and under and last one is total inventory total inventory cost and uh, you know uh, this is this is known as TIC in short okay so in general the formula for carrying cost the formula for carrying cost is R upon Q into C naught okay so basically uh, this is the formula ordering cost is half Q uh, sorry carrying cost okay there is a mistake I think so yeah this is a uh, this is the ordering cost R upon Q and carrying cost is half Q into CC okay uh, there's a cross just remember this now what is happening in case of total inventory that is carrying cost plus ordering cost carrying cost is denoted by CC and ordering cost is denoted by C naught so what will happen R upon Q C naught plus half Q into CC so this is total inventory cost alright so in short it is known as TIC so let's move to the next level that is what will, what will happen at EOQ EOQ stands for economic order quantity at EOQ economic order quantity Q is equal to root under 2R C naught by CC at EOQ the formula for these three are different because in the place of Q we have to put this one 2R C naught by CC I hope you know what is R what is C what is C naught what is CC I have already shared with you now at EOQ what will happen the, what will happen values for or I mean what or, what would be the formula for order quantity or carrying cost so that is most in, that is one of the most important uh, most uh, interesting part or important part to know in this uh, total right so let's move, go for it so basically we know ordering ordering cost is equal to 
ordering cost is equal to r upon q into c naught so what i have to put r c naught q is equal to 2 r c naught by cc now this will be go up so cc root under 2 r c naught r c naught right so this will cancel out this will i mean this in root so remaining part would be root r this would be root r root c not so what will happen r c not cc by 2 okay by 2 so this is the uh, formula for ordering cost in case at eoq at economic order quantity okay now what will happen i mean what would be the formula for carrying cost at uh, eoq carrying cost right now interesting part my dear you know the formula for you know uh, carrying cost is half q cc half q is equal to r 2 r c not by cc into cc so what will happen we can write this one also r c not cc by 2 now look at these two formulas you can understand what i wanted to share with you this one and this one both formula are same so what what is the meaning of this this means at eoq at eoq ordering cost is equal to carrying cost that means co is equal to cc objective type question at note note at eoq c not is equal to cc objective question got it now let's move to the another formula that is total total uh, total inventory cost in short it is known as tic so at eoq at eoq what would be the formula for finding out total inventory cost that would be like this so 2 r c not cc because if we, if we will add both these because total or uh, total uh, inventory cost is equal to c not plus cc so c not is this c, uh, cc is this both are same so the uh, formula for finding out total inventory cost is equal to this now next total cost total cost per unit time is equal to r cc plus total inventory cost so r sits uh, r cc plus total inventory cost would be what 2 r c not cc so this is the formula for total in i mean total cost now one of the most important thing or i must say note notable thing that is carrying cost is equal to or tends to i must say percentage of cu now what is cu cu is nominal cost nominal cost and uh, probably you are not familiar with this term that's why i'm sharing with you another name of this cost that is purchasing cost all right so this is all about formulas now one of the most one of the most important uh, you know important diagram i must share with you that is also important for competition examination point of view so here i have some space that's why i can share with you that diagram okay so basically here i am sharing with you the diagram for this one is cost this one is quantity this is total inventory cost this is ordering cost this is carrying cost now let's understand little bit about this diagram economic i mean total inventory cost is here only all right so it is increasing then at this level it is okay so this will meet here so at this level we have minimum value right now if the order is increasing carrying cost keep on increasing if the order is increasing ordering cost is decreasing here you can also i mean we can also understand another objective type question ki what is happening in case of this diagram that ordering cost is decreasing if quantity is increasing if 
order order is increasing its carrying cost is increasing and at the point carrying cost and order cost is meeting most important where carrying cost and ordering cost is meeting and at that point we got we got minimum total inventory cost minimum total inventory cost so this is all about uh, wilson harris uh, or consumption rate is constant uh, type of, on a, one of the type of uh, deterministic model well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye